Okay, so we have a real-world example problem, and we're using the remainder theorem. So we're given the question, football, the number of tickets sold during the high school football season can be modelled by the following equation, where x is the number of games played. So use the remainder theorem to find the number of tickets sold during the 12th game of the high school football season. Okay, so we're going to find the tickets sold. So it says number of tickets sold in the 12th game. So this is going to be when the tickets, so t of x, this is when x is equal to 12. So the first thing we need to do is divide the function by 12. So we can do this by here. So we have 12. And we're going to divide this into x cubed minus 12x squared uh, plus 48x plus 74. So we just need the coefficient. So this is going to be 1. So we're going to divide by 1, we're going to divide by minus 12, by 48, and by 74. So we can bring the first number down, which is 1. 1 multiplied by 12 is 12. And if we add minus 12 and positive 12, we get 0. 0 times 12 is 0. 48 and 0 is 48. 48 multiplied by 12 is 576. And 74 plus 576 is 650. So this is the remainder. So the remainder... is equal to 650. So this is 650 uh, tickets that were sold. So we can say that uh, the tickets for uh, 12, so is the number, so 650 tickets sold during the 12th game of the season. So we need to check the answer. So we'll check our answer. So we're going to do this using direct substitution. So t of x is equal to, we're going to write the function, so x3 minus 12x squared plus 48x plus 74. And we're going to substitute in our values. So we're going to replace all the x's with, t, uh, with 12 with 12 squared, 48 multiplied by 12, and 74. So this is going to come to 650, which is our answer. Okay, so guided practice question number five. It says football. Use the remainder theorem to determine the number of tickets sold during the 13th game of the season. So we're looking at T13 for x cubed minus 12x squared plus 48x plus 74. So now we're going to divide by 13. And we're going to write... 
the values. We've got 1, minus 12, plus 48, and plus 74. So we're going to bring down the first value, 1. 1 multiplied by 13 is 13. And if we add our values, we'll have 1. So 1 times 13 is 13. 48 plus 13 is 61. 61 multiplied by 13 is 793. And if we add 74, we'll have 867. So there are. 867 tickets for the 13th game.